If you've been working to create media, especially videos for your business, you may have come across someone named Gary Vee. And something that he talks about a lot is documenting versus creating. This is something that I've struggled with personally in the past and I see a lot of business owners struggling with, which is they have that go energy. They're convinced and they're ready to make videos. They just don't know what to make the videos about. And they have so many interesting things going on. They just don't know what to highlight and how to highlight or how to go about it. And this way of creating content is perfect for them because all you would have to do is set up a camera while interesting things are going on. And the point to make here is you may not find it interesting, but your followers are definitely going to find it interesting. So as I'm saying this, I'm realizing I could be doing way more of this. It's like documenting during times that you know are going to be interesting and that are going to explain your process. Something that fits perfectly here is to film yourself while you're on the phone with potential clients or film yourself while you're zooming, while you're meeting your potential clients. All the questions that someone may have before they hire you are being asked. So if you film that, you just need to document it. You don't know what questions are going to be asked, but you definitely know the answers. And it's going to be a video of you confidently answering questions that someone had for your business. And then this way, as new customers and clients are visiting your profiles and your websites, they get to see that other people had these questions and then they're answered before they even had the question. So this could be the phone call. This could be the intake. This could be the first time you're meeting with a client. This could be the actual process of the project that you're working on. For me, this would mean filming my film sets with my clients, filming portrait sessions of myself shooting. And when I document these things so often, I'm like saying things that just come to my mind or the posing that I wouldn't have thought to show my potential clients that like, hey, do you see how we pose to make you look the best possible? Like that just comes out through the video. I'm guiding confidently. I'm doing my thing confidently. So talking to the camera, if it wasn't my thing, which I'm making it my thing, if it wasn't my thing, then I could just like document me doing my thing. What are you confident in? Well, document yourself doing that and then take those clips and do a voiceover, do a do a vlog. You can use those clips for an end of the year recap. There's so many reasons to document and then create from that. You're just gonna set it up and life will unfold. Something that comes up really often is if we do that, then we just end up with a bunch of footage. And if you're filming on your phone and or you're filming on a camera, especially if you're filming in 4K, then you end up with a ton of storage. So you'll need to find storage options. And I'm gonna make a video about storage options at another time. You got to be ready to either have like another phone to film with or Google Photos or Dropbox, some sort of cloud option for storing your footage. Where are you going to be storing all this stuff? Because there's going to be a lot and it happens fast. And sometimes you'll film something and you'll be able to pull something out of it. So like you filmed for half an hour and then got that golden 15 second clip out of it and it was amazing and totally worth it. Except like now what do you do with all the other footage? There's got to be a way of you filtering this footage and maybe even getting rid of the stuff that you didn't need, you're going to need a great storage option. If you're hearing this and you're like, oh, I would totally do the documenting part, but I don't have time to go through hours and hours of footage, then I highly recommend finding an editor. There's also a couple AI services. I haven't really checked them out, but there's a couple of services that will take your long clips and break them into moments. But if you have an editor, then they can go through all that footage for you. That's what they're best at. You keep doing what you're best at. That's something that comes up a lot. If you're gonna be filming for hours, then you gotta be prepared that you're gonna have to be sifting through something for hours. So if that's not something you're ready to take on, then part of your plan has to include an editor who's gonna be editing this for you. A great example of documenting and then creating afterwards is like the whole sports world because they have a million cameras, they document everything, and then very often they'll go through all that footage. Most of the time it's from multiple cameras and then they'll go ahead and make clips out of it. So they're documenting and then creating and they have so much footage and they definitely have editors and you can create your own small mini version of that for your business where you're documenting and then tons of videos are being created. That would be the best model. You'd want to be able to have someone with you and it's sort of on autopilot where they're filming you or you're filming yourself while you're in your office on a phone call with a client, whatever it is. And then you have someone who can sift through that and make content out of that for you.